All you gotta do is grab your opponent through a table, and it's over. We'll find out once and for all who wins the tag team titles. So grab whatever you need, ladies and gentlemen, from the concession stands. Go get your snacks, go get a drink, go for a smoke break, a toke break, a vape break, and we'll be back here in 20 minutes. Hydrating tomorrow's Olympic athletes. All right, this is the sudden death contest, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Happening during the intermission. The championship committee is very gung-ho about having actual winners this time around. First time we've ever had to do this, fans, is having a match during intermission. One table broke, but you had to put the opponent through the table in Ardar to win. That's, what, that's the purpose of the tables match. It's a great match to decide an actual winner in a sudden death situation. 30 minutes in this match, fans. Earlier go tonight, both teams could not find a way to overcome the other. Fast paced wrestling back and forth. At one point, Uretha Brown was the one that came so close into, the, into pinning. I believe it was Tane, but I'm not entirely sure. A lot has happened over the while, so... But definitely, Uretha Brown was going to win the fall for the entire team and become the new FPW Women's Tag Team Champions. We have one table in the ring, four women. It's just a matter of time now before someone gets driven into it. Oh! Nasty spill by Macy LeBlanc Smith! And Payne breaks the table. That's four tables that have been smashed, but no actual. Physically, uh, physicality to any of the individuals. And again, this is sudden death. There is no time limit. We will stay with you guys until we have an actual definitive winner. We got two other women ready to go. Gina Carano, Corporal Gina Carano, and Melissa Cloutier for the women's championship title. And now Macy LeBlanc grabbing the table. Communication there by Adele Hasib on Brown. Jeez Louise. No one is giving everybody a break here tonight, fans. Okay, I'm confused now. What's going on here? They're setting up the opponent, but there's no 
No one's going through a table. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, we just got back from intermission and um, we were doing the sudden death match between um, Adil Hasib, Uretha Brown versus the Shit Disturbers for the FW Women's Tag Team Championship when something occurred during the broadcast. Now, due to circumstances that the show must go on, um, we're gonna we're gonna resume the show as is, and still women's tag team champions. Macy LeBlanc Smith and Payne, collectively known as the Ship Disturbers. For those of you who disagree with the circumstances and the outcome of the contest, post something on, on YouTube immediately after watching the video, of course. Um, once again, we apologize for the inconvenience. But these things do happen in this great, great sport of arms. So coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, here at THQ Night 2016, we've got for you the FPW Women's Championship title as Corporal Gina Corano of the World Military Alliance versus Melissa Gutierrez, two of the best women's athletes to D. For the championship fans, let's go down to ringside where Tony Chino will announce the stars. The following contest is a no disqualification match. Introducing first from Houston, Texas. Representing the World Military Alliance, this is Corporal Gina Corano. Uh, she has been the women's champion now since last year's Beach Blast event during the Wet n Wild 6 or 7 match. I forgot how many of them we've had. But she has won the title since last July, and yet no one has been able to dethrone the Corporal. It has been a pain in the ass for a lot of divas, especially this one coming down the rampway right now. She's had a hell of a tough time this past year alone. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. But maybe, just maybe, history will, history will be made between these two divas here. And uh, so far the only new champion we've had tonight was Pumpkin Escobar after pretty much just having that having that championship granted to him. We still have no idea what's going on with uh, the Russian enforcer, but we'll find out momentarily, fans. And here we go! Oh my god, that was like a hyper or brutal combo right there by Melissa. Going for the Fame Master. Oh no, Gina Carano missed it. Definitely history was made moments ago, ladies and gentlemen, in that gone for the gold. Tom Sever went through all obstacles, but unfortunately something happened along the way. A video presentation occurred on screen announcing the Russian enforcer's return. And then something happened along the way that made Tom Sever just lay out flat out something happened. Now, here's something that's very strange, fans, that occurred during intermission, but it also it also happened during a little glitch moment during that, that sudden death match, which ended up being unresolved. Some kind of, of chemical agent has been laced into this arena, some kind of a neural uh, gas, hypnotic gas. We found traces of it from our uh, infrared scanner. 
Hey, all you guys, all you people watching this at home are wondering, 